Yandere Simulator is supported by the following sponsors. Every night, for as long as I can remember, I have been having the same dream. In this dream, I meet a boy, fall in love with him, start a family, and live happily ever after. I have always believed that this dream was showing me my future, showing me the person I'll be with for the rest of my life. I spent years fantasizing about what it would be like to finally meet him. And then, one year ago, I found him. The boy from my dreams is in the same school as me. But I'm too afraid to speak to him. Because I'm worried that I'll ruin everything and make him hate me. So, for the past year, I've been admiring him from afar. While I built up enough courage to speak to him. He's my soulmate. My destiny. But... While we're at school, he's just my senpai. I was having so much fun watching him, learning everything about him, and planning our life together. But then, someone had to come and ruin everything. She's trying to take him from me, and I won't let her get away with it. something about the boy you have feelings for. Uh, you know who I have a crush on? Oh, it's so embarrassing. Well, what is it? What did you want to tell me? You can't have him. He belongs to me.
out of the cooking club. Why did you do that? Oh, that knife actually belonged in the home ec room. I was just putting it back where it belonged. I disposed of the girl who was trying to steal my senpai. I cleaned up all the evidence. I left no trace of what I had done. Or so I thought. When the police investigated the girl's disappearance, they found a single bloodstain 
that I failed to clean up. This was enough to make the police begin investigating the girl's disappearance as a possible murder case. A potential murder at an elite school was big news. It was a stain on the school's prestigious reputation. The headmaster didn't take it very well. I heard that he struck a deal with the police to keep any future investigations as discreet as possible. The faculty and the student council will be on high alert from now on. I'll need to be more careful in the future. But I can't rest yet. Another threat has appeared. She plans to confess her feelings to my senpai at 6 p.m. on Friday. I need to stop her before then. If I kill every girl who shows an interest in my senpai, I might attract more police attention to the school. So, even though I'm tempted to plunge a knife into her heart, perhaps I should consider avoiding bloodshed. I should eavesdrop on their conversations. I might be able to learn some valuable information. In fact, with a little bit of sabotage, I might be able to ruin their budding relationship and make my senpai lose all interest in her.
least favorite school subject. I hate this stupid assignment so much at this point, I just want someone else to do it for me. If you're willing to complete the assignment for me, please do it where nobody will see you. The table in the library would be the perfect spot. Really? You'll help me? Oh, thank you. Oh my god, you did it! Now this stupid assignment is finally behind me, once and for all. Thank you.
my life. Really? Oh my god, you
After eliminating that girl, I thought my senpai would be safe. But now, I have a new problem to deal with. Another girl is showing interest in him. A cute tomboy with a gung-ho attitude. Boys like that sort of girl, don't they? If he keeps spending time around her, she might steal his heart. I can't let that happen. Now that I'm thinking about it, I heard a nasty rumor about her. Apparently, she has a... secret hobby. Something dangerous. Something she could get in big trouble for. It might be worth it to follow her around school and learn what she's hiding. Perhaps I can find a way to make her bad habits backfire on her. You know what they say. You play with fire, and you get burned. Come on, keep on, you are lovely.